Dedication. Mm. I will slap on the ass. Don't stop. Don't try to leave your face to the grass. Go running. You see that you been walking on glass. Move forward. You still holding on to the glass. But if you're lucky enough, you know, your life is nothing to rock. We wouldn't realize the game if it wasn't for pain. But I'd have kept my head up. So it's time to come up. But mama never told me that it'll be this wrong. I said, this is how I know it's my time. I took a step to the side. No cutting to the front of the line. Let's be no lie when I rhyme. Back like we left something, y'all know the saying. And uh that song right there was smashing before I even started talking and, and getting into anything. Y'all hit that subscribe button, hit the comments, hit the likes, hit the dislike. I like all the smoke, all that shit. Hit the share button as well. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, the way you get notified every time you uh I get a, a video going and watch the likes go up. Uh yeah, that damn song was jamming like a motherfucker, y'all. And uh by the way, that song right there was uh, by a friend of mine, this lady that's sitting next to me. Oh, oh thank you, Jesus. That's it right Salute. there. That's the seasoning. I mean. <laughs> but anyway, y'all know I have my show to recognize the unrecognized. This person sitting to the left of me, somebody I've been knowing for 16 years. Uh, they was labor made for me when, when I was rapping. You know, we, had, we used to rap together. Let's just say that right there. She, uh, she's way overdue for being on my show. But it was only right for me to have her on the show tonight on the kickback. And that song you just heard was from her. And I'm going to let her introduce herself, tell you where she's from, and a little bit about herself. Uh, what's happening with you? It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> Welcome it's happening. to the motherfucking kickback. Goddamn, I mean, you can see it. Slow motion up in this motherfucker. Slowly but surely. <laughs> Slowly but surely, my girl. Slow mo. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of you. Slow mo, proud. slow proud. motion. Like I said, bro, yeah. I'm proud of you. So where you from, slow mo? Originally... All bullshit aside though, cause I normally would say I'm from the, uh, from the universe, but yeah, I'm from Oak Cliff technically, uh, or off Taco Drive and Veterans. Oak uh, Cliff. But uh, just I'm from the hood, don't mean I gotta act like it. Right on. But I do got another side that most people don't know, and the ones that do know. We all got another they hate, side. They hate us. they know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm from the Cliff. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Oak Cliff up in this motherfucker. Oak Cliff. Uh, shit, went to BF Darrell, shit, Skyline, Maceo. You know, I used to play up there uh, at Cummins Gym, my side, playing a little basketball. Basketball, you used to play know, basketball. Used to hang, you know, Robin Oaks with Ken Folk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm from, I'm from Oak Cliff, but my mama moved around a lot. So we was, um, you know, we went to live in Addison, lived in Carrollton, you know. You went to high school in Carrollton, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I graduated from uh, Turner. Turner, okay. Yeah, yeah I thought that was so. Yeah, I touched and all y'all went to Turner, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. That's where I met the ex. Where I met you met Tux, Tuxedo, Tuxedo, Max. Tuxedo Max. Shout out yeah. to Tuxedo Max. Tuxedo Max, baby. Yeah. Yes. Dress shirt Steve. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, so uh, you you say you moved around. So you pretty much been around all of Dallas. You say you Oak Cliff, which is the south part of Dallas. Uh, you came to Addison, which is a part of North Dallas. is just like Carrollton. is next door. Right, right. Uh, so uh, how was your times going to be? What was the... Were there any differences you being at Oak Cliff? Of course, of course, of course. I mean, okay, so I, I get to the, I make it short and sweet because uh, I can be long winded as fuck. Sorry, right? No, nah, not tonight. Not tonight. Sometimes. I'm getting. I'm getting. I'm learning how to get better. Um, yeah, it was a big difference. I remember eighth grade. Um, I noticed a difference in just the energy, first of all, and then second, the the connection. It's no connection when you around a bunch of people that don't look like you. 
You right. You know what I'm saying? So even though you get a little laugh and everything, right? Day, you know, and you got no you got to learn to co you know be a chameleon and learn to um, coexist with different beings and different energies out of different cultures so that you can be more um, set up for the future that you don't even know what's coming. Anywho, you know. So, so basically, what you're saying, le leaving the Oak Cliff area was predominantly Mexicans and blacks. And it has a little white people out there. Right, but at the time... But moving on this side of town, it's more... more it was it's more, black whites, blacks. more more whites and Hispanics. But that time, a period... In your more life, whites. More white. It, right. But that time in your life was, was teaching you how to deal with the white people today in right. the age you are now. Right, I mean, that's a fact. But at the same time, like I said before, I said where I was from, from in a clip, I said... I'm from the universe, knowing it was what I said. Yeah, you So with that said, when I meet white people, black people, Asian, it don't matter, I'm dealing with a soul. Period. I know I talk about shit about all kind of races and shit. Though. It's, a, it's I, the soul. I, I be talking, cracking jokes on them and talk. She calls me. They do the same thing to us. But like me, I fuck with I, I fuck with people from everywhere. Everybody knows. Yeah. You see me? I'd be around. Because let me everybody. think. How many black people you know really have a soul of a quote unquote black person? Some of them don't. You like this nigga ain't black, right? I mean, cause you got cause you, your, your, your surroundings. You, you, you pick up from your surroundings. Because it's based off their true soul nature. Exactly. Like, you know for example, mean? what you said, it, it, sometimes it takes you to move away from where you're from, where everybody know you, right. to a place that where nobody, you don't know I mean, nobody don't know don't you. Get me wrong, it's though. when you find yourself. Right. But see, don't get me wrong. So we went. I went from Oak Cliff to moving to Addison or Carrollton area to begging my mama to let me go back to the cliff. Technically, because she was driving me crazy, but that was because me. I was using the wise, the wise one. You know, like you know, you gotta tell her these white folks, white folks is uh, not treating me right. You know what I'm saying? But technically, on the inside, it was because she was driving me crazy, and I need to go back to my people too. Cause I need to go to my grandma's house. Was white, no people, was, was white people cool with you? At, at I had no problem with white people. Or were they cool with you? At yes. Okay, because I never had no problem with white people. Me either, fuck me either. but it was the teachers that didn't really fuck with me like that because even though they showed love, they didn't like the fact that I challenged them with something that was authentic and flowing and free from spirit versus what they trying to tell me in some fucking book that my soul saying is a lie. That's the only that's the only problem I had with uh, teachers, but they loved me though. They couldn't help it. Now you see, How can you not love me? Just put out there that you you know you're a little bookworm, you're a nerd. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you know the books. You're yeah. smart. You're intelligent. You I mean, know that. Okay, all right, all right. Alright, this is the key to this one. That's how the most I make me look. I have no common fucking sense. I don't. I am so throwed. You got the common sense. The common sense I have you is I had, I had a common sense to listen to when I, I know you were 16 years. You got some common sense. I got sense. the common sense to know when God telling me to do something, I better listen. That's what common sense I got. Now, we do have common sense where we try to go against what we know we should be doing. We just want to do it anyway because it's, it's emotion. Or it's a, you know you reacting with some bad energy, so, so yeah. but you have common sense. You know better. You just like fuck it. I mean, true, but like I can say, I'm, what I'm saying is like I could have been sleeping in class, right? And the teacher um, called my name for an answer to a question she asked. I didn't hear the fucking question. I would lift my head up, and she's intentionally wanting to make me feel stupid for falling asleep. But I would hear the answer in my head, and I said it, and it happened to be right. That's why I said it wasn't me. It was the most high, my nigga, it got my attention. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And I said, damn, okay. So even though I'm not really that intelligent, it makes me look intelligent if I listen to him and everybody gonna say it's me. Now eventually I got to the point where I had to acknowledge the fact that it really ain't me. And that took a lot of ego to tell somebody that. I had to kill that ego to tell somebody because you don't want to tell nobody some shit like that because you won't go and take it. Yeah, I'm smart. It's, so good, it's good that you can, you, you can admit you one of the first people I ever heard admit. That God is the, oh, he's the reason for everything that happens good in your life. So I said, so but I had to say that skills. Mm. Say you got skills or say you're smart. Well, it's God. You mean God gave you that, that will yeah. power to uh, be, do anything you want to do. And that's, that's how you want to do. And I'm thank you for acknowledging the fact that I acknowledged it because that's something that ain't uh, an intended thing to do because it's always like, oh, well, here's you go. Or, oh, where, you know. But yeah. when you have no fear, like for instance, you have a love of your life that you would die for, you go crazy for, right? And um, you don't stand up for him. Yeah, most definitely. But see, that's how I feel about the most high. The way he been moving, he, she, the it, the whole, the creator been moving in my life. At this point in my life right now, today, at 40 years old. 
black don't crack. Hello. So we got you black too, y'all. You know what I'm saying? At this point, not just because of 40, but because of my experience from a childhood on up until now. Yeah. Um, I don't feel like I'm disrespecting the love of my life. Like if it's, there was her next to me in the physical flesh, by not acknowledging the most high. Every time you're in love with somebody or they make something to you and they, they touch your heart, you talk about it to everybody. Man, mm. like for me, it was a long time for years. It was Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. You feel me? Every, yeah. Because she touched me in a certain way. And I couldn't help it. I called somebody else Ashley and they wouldn't even know Ashley don't work around. There was a time that every time I seen you, Ashley was yeah, there. Right. I mean, you took Ashley, you brought Ashley right. everywhere. Right. So that's what I say the connection that I had to acknowledge with the most high. The way you make me feel is way better than any person on this earth made me feel. So I have to acknowledge him outside and say, you know what? I gotta go and throw my nigga in there. That's real that you say that though, man. That's nice to hear some shit it's like that. It's just facts, man. It's just facts. I know that. It's not no shit that feels you, you good. Ain't to, you ain't trying to make you ain't trying to get no hand clap from hey, nobody. Man, you just speaking for real shit. I'm glad you know that, man. Yeah, but even yeah. if you didn't know that, I've gotten to the point where I don't give a fuck if you know it or not. You feel so, me? You feel me? I, 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 like a, I'm just glad you do know it. Like a blind man feel real. <laughs> Shit, man. Uh, I'm, but I'm hey, proud of you, man. I'm proud of you. Man. Oh, I appreciate that. You know, I'm you see the transition. You know, you yes. one of the one, you one of the few ones that's around here in Dallas. Well, it's a lot of people, but I'm just saying, like, as far as like who I bring around my lady, you you one of the few that see my transition. Yeah. yeah. Like, like it's like it's a bunch of people that well, I ain't got it. Mm -hmm. They it, it's, it's people who I met when I came home from jail, and it's people who I met before that. And then those people who I met when I came home from jail, they really don't know me as a rapper. They, some of them do, but they know me as a podcast. Mm -hmm. Everybody before they didn't know my rapping. Right. But they also know my transition through the life period. Right. You know, all my kids. They mothers, know your soul. You know my family, <laughs> you know my soul. Right. So to see me in this situation where I'm at now doing the podcast show, uh, people seen a, a, it's called growth. Right. That's how they say this is growth. So they like to see the fact that I, and the fact that I still be rapping and still come out there and jump on the track still to this day. People love to see that. And that's why I'm doing this uh, kickback abulation. You're going to be on that too, by the way. It's an abulation? Yeah, I got a song I had. Abulation? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to explain you what the abulation is. Yeah, you get my opening no. too, baby? You know what the abulation is? Tell me what it is. It's an album based, it's an it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a album that's based like an album but filled with. Features and uh, collabs. Okay. Because both albums don't have that many features on them, only mixtapes and compilations. Okay, okay. So, album, it's going to be an album and a compilation mixed together. That's why I call it the albulation. Dude. So, it's going to be like me just doing the hook. Sometimes I might be on a verse or two. Right. But I'm a, if all 18 songs are going to have two or three rappers on them. And the I'm looking to be on that motherfucker too. You're going to probably be say, on two songs. Say, listen, if I had to, um, if I'm thinking back now, if I had to have my, let my ego win, when I first heard the shit, I was like, damn, Cuddy's, you know, Cuddy catching my attention when I heard the album, you know, heard that music. So, okay, let me get to the music. Let me get to the music, okay? Are you jumping the lead right now? Slow down. Slow down right there. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down man. You know, that's the journalist skill right yes, there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can't let you bite the wind too fast. Slow down, slow down. This wasn't plotted and planned. This is how it just goes with the flow. So, with that being said, uh, that song you just we, I played before the show, that, that's an old song. You don't got to get a date on it. Old and new. Yeah, old and new. Yeah. It's new to anybody else, they yeah. never heard it. Yes, so. exactly. But yeah. that's a smashing ass song. Yeah, it is. Because I know, I know the first song you ever recorded. Yeah. <laughs> I, first, I know the first five, ten stuff. I was, the, what was the first one? I, 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 thank you. Thank you, yep. So thank damn you. is. And I know you. I know. I know Thank you might not you. remember the name, but I know you remember the feeling. It's people like this. Cause I everybody was like, "That's what she gonna talk about." Like this. When we used to play the CD, I know the words. God damn it. That's how I know it. That's Say, so. I, hey, and ain't that evident of what I was saying a while ago? How when Tux finally convinced me to do a song, right? I said, "Okay, if I'm gonna do anything, I'm gonna make sure I put the most high first. So hold up, then I make thank you first when I first record a song. So then we right there. We still in. If no, we, 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 we still got another hurdle, we got to jump yes, sir, on. Yes, sir. So you. You you do you a rapper? That's pretty much I, I have you on the show for a lot of reasons, not just because you're a rapper. Because I just want to talk to you. I ain't seen you in right, young, right, young right. years, but I see you on social media. Right, but right. we ain't never, we ain't been around each other for a, yeah. a while. And so the music thing we'll get to. Uh, so what what got you into music? Um. Well, first I want to say real quick, my realest friends I ain't I ain't seen or talked to in years. <laughs> Out of all the five I got, maybe four or five. You know what I'm saying? Like that too. I'm saying, but that's how you know that's the realest ones. 
The yep. ones that time can go and, and distance and they don't take away from the connection. You know what I'm saying? The connection never leaves. But um, unconditional. To answer your question, uh, what got me into doing music was Tuxedo Max, man, Larry, my little yep. bro, my little bro, because uh, I was a I was a writer. I was always a writer. I used to write poems and I had journals and books, books and books of journals and sh writings. And I used to read them to him. You know what I'm saying? To, to Tux, that was yep. my best friend. You know what I'm saying? My pro. And he was, one day he was like, Ish, I think you should try, uh, I think you should try rapping, you know, get on the beat. And I'm like, fuck rap, nigga, fuck rap. Rap ain't on, I'm listening to Anita Baker, nigga, I'm Luther Vandross, nigga, I don't really want to. And this is when you, you met, know, but, you, but you met us already, right? Yeah, no, 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 well, yeah, by the time, before he asked me, yes. We, we, we still on Yes, yes, I had met y'all over there, and um, I'm listening to studio people, our apartment. And I was not interested at all in doing yeah. no music. But you came to one of our I'm shows. I'm in awe because I'm listening to the fact that what I'm hearing First of all, if Tux is in anything, anything Tux is in is unique. Yeah. So with him being in something, I had to pay attention to everybody else, even if by default. I I feel you on that too. So when I paid attention, cut it, cut it. They don't call me cut it for nothing. <laughs> I get my knife. On. Stood the fuck out. You know, I was like, <laughs> cut it, cut. And I don't want to tell this nigga because I don't want to think I want this nigga or I don't want him. You know, I don't know. What are you doing? <laughs> Cause I give eye contact niggas be thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I said I gotta tell this nigga, I gotta tell this man that that you um uh your frequency, your vibration, your lyrics, your delivery, your energy, your flow, your soul, your just your authentic self has touched my authentic self, and I have yeah, to make sure I let you know this. Oh, man. Look, I have to let you know this. I'm about to cry. She's bigging me up, y'all. Yeah, that's what I do. I that's can't what take I do. it. I can't I take it. That's what I do. I'm sorry. Do. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'm, yeah, a, I'm yeah. a therapist because I've been through hell and back. Long yeah, yeah. Long, you know. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember those days. But your day, I had to, I had to cut you. I had to put you on, let you, put you on front street and let you know and send you out in front of everybody and say something because when something touched your soul so deep, like I was talking about the most high, you have to acknowledge it. Yeah. I had to. I had to. Appreciate you, man. That's how I Appreciate you, That's man. Love, man. You know, yeah. I'm back on the mic now, though. Yeah. I'm back on the mic, though. Just I had to get it got done. So you, uh, we was, you was inspired by Tuxedo Max. Shout out to my Finally nigga. Finally got that's on. That's my main producer. He engineered all my shit pretty much. Yeah. Uh, shout out to him. You, you got you, you got a catalog worth it. a lot of. Uh, you got a gang of shit. Mm -hmm. But but you what still, was you doing? you were sending me stuff every day mm -hmm. or every week. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad I was still seeing. Uh, I wasn't surprised you were still doing it. And I, I was surprised that you were doing it by yourself. You right. wanted, you want because it was the time that you had to have tuxedo right, right. there. Which, right. Right. Uh, you know, even when you, I remember you were doing shows for a while, and we were, we, we fell off doing shows. Mm -hmm. And you said, man, won't y'all get y'all that back out here and start doing shows before me? Because I'm a band first. Yeah, yeah. So, and I think yo, when you was hanging around Jelly Roll them a lot right, too at the right, time. Jelly yeah. Roll was putting you in the midst of y'all. Y'all right. had to live. So we we got lazy. But me, I love the stage. Right. You know, I, mean, I, was, I started doing shows by myself uh, when I started working, when I came out with Louisiana. Mm -hmm. So, uh, which I started doing the Damage Good album when I came on, but I was halfway done with that. But that's okay, though, because I rebirthed myself, like you told me earlier. Uh, you reinvented yourself. Right. And, uh, like, I got the business. Matter of fact, here's the first song off the Kickback okay. Ambulation. I'm just going to give it for you, buddy. Come on. This is Bonte Farrow and Jay Black. Jay Black on the track. Jay you know it's Jay Black. Black. I'm going to say that. First nigga out there, the young nigga was playing. Yeah. 
Back abolition. So um, I'm not even even the rest to even finish it because it's gonna be a long ass summer. It's mm-hmm. gonna be cool, and I got a lot of more interviews to do. And I'm just, just I want to wait till my uh, podcast is like I gotta yeah. dial it. It's done. Subscribe. It's done because you said so already. So, so it's yeah, it's not. Well, I'm seeing is believing. So you know like, so, yeah. so it's like so. Uh, I might drop it on my birthday this year. Okay. October the first. That, okay. that sounds good to me because the summer will be over. It's, it's low right. It's fall will be over. We're gonna fall back but keep moving. Yeah. You didn't hear that before. Yes, sir. Like slow motion but moving fast. Well, no. <laughs> Double time. Double time. Infinite. My motherfucker slow move. Bro, I love you. Yeah, I'm glad you came. I love you too, man. I'm glad you came on the I'm show. I'm glad man. I came through. Talk glad you asked me. And I'm glad I made it. And I'm glad I was on. I was on time. I was on time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh shit! Man. Oh, you all good? Damn. Hey, it's the kickback, shit, y'all. Yeah. Hold on, we're gonna get this shit done. Hold on. We don't got no. Hey, throw the towel over here. Throw the towel over here. The brown towel. Real life. I'm just gonna wipe the table. Yeah, bam, bam. Oop, oop. Oop. There we go. Ball player. Shout out to my lady, man. She's great. She, she bagged me up 100. One ten. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She, you know, you don't find them like that, man. You don't even find guys that bag up their women too hard. So, yeah. shout out to my lady. Teamwork, baby. Dreamwork, baby. Mm-hmm. But uh, what's up, Mike? What's up, Mike? But uh. Yeah, so yeah, on this rapping thing though, uh, so besides, I mean, of course, I talked about your music. Which, so what you been up to lately? Everything been going, you know. I know the last time I have seen you, I was at Sherlock's one yeah. night and Tux and Ray was up there, and you was in the back, parked in the back. Mm-hmm. They were like, "Come back." I said, "I'm gonna go back there." They were like, "No, nah, so I'm just gonna talk about it." I ain't seen you yet. I ain't. Yeah. I just. Yeah. I've been home there. I've been home about eight months. I ain't seen you. Yeah, yeah. Man, fuck that. Yeah. I'm all this home. And you walked up and said that. You said, "Man, say, man, you know, Tuck told me you probably wasn't in the mood for." I, and that's why I fucks with you. Yeah, I tell. That's I, why I fucks with you. She, she ain't seen me. And the thing about it, you was, you kept on. Uh, when I first came home, you like, "What's wrong, man? Boy, I need to catch up with you. You've been trying to catch up yeah, with me for yeah, a while." Yeah. And then that was the time to. Yeah. Catch up with yeah. I mean, so, yeah, yeah I, you know. See, I you wouldn't be cutted for nothing if you didn't bring your ass on that fast. So, so because, be, see, what, I didn't know. Who, like, like, low key, I didn't know who was in there, though, either. Who was, and, the, who was in the back patio, too? And I was going through a lot of shit, too, but that don't mean. Well, yeah. That I don't need to see that's, that's, that's why I took it outside. That's why I took it outside. Her problem is she don't. What's bothering her is not for her to come up in here. Right. You know, she wouldn't mind me coming out there to right. see right. it. I said, y'all don't suppose those But shit. as long as, as long even uh, Ray, he know where I'm at when Tuck say I'm, I'm him, but he don't see me. Everybody know I'm in the car. Good, you know why? I'm always having a first date with the most high. That that shit rhyme me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, it's good to keep the first high. I, first. I, just, have to, I just have to keep the first high. You know, the, the, like every time you by yourself, you're not by yourself. Yeah, you just don't get enough. Anyway, next, 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 next. It's all good. <laughs> hey, 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 you, man, hey, I'm just being real, man. Hey, I know that why you yeah. on the show. It won't, it won't be no reason for you that I won't want nobody to come on the show and be on some bullshit. Sure, I mean. and, and like I said, this show is all about uh, recognizing the unrecognized, man. Like we were talking about earlier, uh, give me my flowers while I'm alive. Right, wait till right, I die. Right. Even though shout out to Drink Champs, that's his motto. He always say, uh, I'm, we're here to give you your flowers now, not mm-hmm. when you die. Right, so that's right. shout out to Nori for that, but that's why I say it a different way. And but like my thing is though, my whole thing is I'm not chasing celebrities, I'm making celebrities. Right. I'm not trying I mean it's good to have a I love to have a uh well I had two celebrities, three celebrities, but two seven on this couch. I mean on the, at this table. And uh, or even in the past. Mm-hmm. Maybe four celebrities overall. But my intention is not to try to grab the celebrity uh guests to come on my show mm-hmm. or I don't mind. Right. But I mean, I want the motherfucker that's uh, on the rise, cause they gonna right. say, "Damn, I, the first time you you, acknowledge, interview, you acknowledging them before uh, anybody up. else want to acknowledge them." Cause they gonna say, "My first time, my my first interview was from this guy." They gonna want, they gonna want me to interview them again when they really blow. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I did. The, my man, you, you put me on the on the platform first. Yeah. I gotta come back. And to let's be real. This. Let's be real. Let's be real. So when I missed the one on Monday. And then for or the other day, right? Hold up. In my mm-hmm. mind, I'm thinking, bitch, you act like you famous and shit already. You need to be, hold up, hold up. You need to be trying to do what you got to do to break your neck. Get down. Yeah. But then the most high kick in again. I listen first to that. You say, you, know, you, know, you come first. When you come first, then you can actually give more. 
So when it happened like that, I said, damn, everything happens for a reason. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I stress that, damn, you know, this is what it is. Shit happens a certain way, but let's do it when you're ready next time. You say today, bam. Today was so fucking smooth and laid back and perfect. Oh, yeah, T. I knew this interview was going to be on point. And Monday... I, I've kind of slipped it too, though, because I guess the, the water wasn't... No, but, you know, it don't matter, up. though. But, but no, like, though, when I do stuff, if, if I would have done something like that, when I reached out to you, yeah, yeah. Doing the show, I would, I'd do it just to see if the guest going to reach but out. But we really could go back months ago. But think about, it, day, think about it, though, yeah. But think about it, you, you the home, you the home girl. So... Man, we family for life, man. It didn't matter when, it didn't matter when I interviewed you, you were just next up. I ain't made it. I already made Thank my you. uh line when I had I already put you it's like I already interviewed you when I made that post saying I lined up my next couple of interviews with these people and you wasn't included because you supposed to already been there. Right, 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 but right, that's right, all right, right though. And look, listen, I ain't that sensitive. But the thing is, but, I'm but honored. Even the people that's on the list. Right, right. The, the interview is not in those orders. Right, I, right. It's whoever come first. But you don't talk to me about this shit over a year ago. Yeah. Over. Oh, so, long, long but, long but see, what's already done is already done. It's just a matter of when it actually plays out. I think you probably said somebody come on the English show. Yeah. And that was what, five years ago? Right, right. You said mm-hmm. everybody wanted to come on the English show. It was right here at Our Radio. No, our Radio, right here. So he wanted, he wanted uh, people wanted to come on that show, but to think about what I was telling people, uh, it's already five cast members. If we have a guest on the show, it'll be about one or two at the most. Right. We never, we never had guests like talking about it. We just was five people, five different personalities that just ran it on a Saturday morning in iHeartRadio and, and just got drunk and just got whatever. I mean, I couldn't really get that drunk that much because I had my son. I had about two beers. Probably, uh, I have a shot in the beer. I had my son with me most of the time. I had my son on my... I did my podcast. I did the Ian Gleason show. I did 45 episodes on Ian Gleason show with my son. He's about like a year old. And I did 25 episodes of the kickback with my son. Already, man. Hey. I had to sacrifice. I said, it's only one. It's, it's important. That's crucial. I was, cause my, my first season, I was doing my podcast. It was on Sunday morning. We're going to let this go to waste. It, that's why I said, <laughs> well, it's Cutty Cook, the kickback podcast. Yeah. So I'm your host, Cutty Slim. Cutty Cook this. He cooked no Shout out to the north side. Shout out to my north siders. Shreveport. You know what I'm talking about? Dallas, Philly, everybody from the north side, North Memphis. Whoever you love them. If you're a north side of wherever you at. Universal. Shout out to that right there, man. Uh, shout out to everybody else too though. Shout out to all you other podcasts and, and you people that's getting it. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Comment, share. Also hit the dislike button because I like all the smoke. Cause they don't call me cut it for nutty. I guess my knife phone. <laughs> man. But yeah, uh, so uh speak what's been going on. So man. late did you watch the uh, Coming to America movie? I didn't. I want to consider me. Did you, so you watched the first one? I wasn't one, sitting right? in my car when it came out, but so I found out about it. But I was. Um, Do you plan on watching? Nah, I mean, I mean, I probably it's gonna come around when it come around. You know what I'm saying? You don't too much watch movies anyway. I don't too much. Yeah, I don't yeah, too much. Yeah, you don't seem like you a person. Too I don't. Much. You know, but but I because the first one, I don't even think it's here. The first coming to America was my papa's favorite movie. So you know what I'm saying? I like it too. And I watched that one because it still come on TV, but. It ain't nothing like the first time with anything. So I'm gonna check it out, but I'm just gonna hold on to the vibe I got with the first time. Mm-hmm. Did you see it? You seen it? We're good. I see you know what? I didn't mean to see it. I, I was on YouTube and I'm strolling and they had a copy of it on YouTube. Okay. So I pressed on it so it went just to see whether it one of those right. clickbait channels. Right. Try to make you click on this shit to get views right. and subscribe. So I clicked when I looked at it and it was uh, it was it was showing good at one moment, mm-hmm. then it showed fucked up for another moment. So I couldn't really get into it. I just got a piece of what it was. So, so what you got I'm gonna watch think? it again. What you got what it you was, think about though? It was good. Okay. I mean it ain't what you, you got of course you gotta you gotta think about things the thing about anything. You gotta have the people to say oh, I was wacky with some bullshit, and you gotta you gotta have people that'll say it was good enough and it was alright. I mean, that's and, the way the, that's the way the world. You, you ain't gonna get it. Even the people, and then you got people who said it was wack, but some of them people 
they probably continue to watch it over right. and over. Right. But it's whack though. Yeah, hating that mother, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's whack to you, yeah. but you still didn't watch. Why are you watching if it's whack? Because they don't want to seem uh, they don't want to seem emotional or well, they, or whatever. Because you know, it's, so it's a love story movie, ain't you know, from well, the first one. Well, sometimes you just gotta salute. Give good where it's good. Right. And when it's I, bad, it's bad. Not everybody and, got their quality. And it might wasn't good all the way through. It ain't go. it's not no bozo. Was it equivalent? It no, it was no, it equivalent no, to the first one or? The storyline was it wasn't really adjacent to it, like didn't really, but it kind of, it just, they had okay, you ended up having a one night stand with the, the girl in the, in, in the room when y'all was going out on them dates, but even with the part they showed when she jumped on top of him, it didn't even like they was having sex. They had his pants still on. Yeah, they need some. I used to, yeah, we too grown for that shit. But it's like it was just crazy. Yeah, we too grown for that shit. But, but I see how they tried to flip the shit and make a, extend the story. Right. I gotta give them an eight for that. Right. And, and and that's cool. So is the same is Eddie still in it? Everybody same. in it. Yes, the I, best I, thing, I'm, I'm the best thing about the movie, the best thing about the movie, all the cameos. Okay. They brought a bunch of cameos, but you, 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 you trip. You never know who you're gonna see next. Right. And even a little comical shit. Some of the shit was just too like intelligent. <laughs> but some of the cats. You say, well, yeah, right, right, right. You, you, Like my music. You know, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, like no. you, you're around a bunch of conversations and you're around a bunch of humor. Right. You're going to laugh. Right. If you listen to a lot of shit, you're going to laugh. Right. Especially if you listen to a lot of movies and music or whatever the case may be. Right. You catch the shit. And, some of the, and if you never watched the first one, you really don't get this, the jokes that they come and they reinvent right, it. Right, you know? right, right. So, like, so they made it low-key for the, the generation that caught it. They yeah, yeah, so, to watch it. But, but it's, it, it was good. I, yeah, I, I, I it's good because you okay. know I'm gonna watch I'm gonna it again. It I'm gonna check it and guess what? I know it's gonna be one of those movies you just sit and watch with the family every day. Right. Right. You know, it's just and, right and the support. You know, the support. Our, you know, whoever on the shit, we support our people. Too. I mean, I, you know what? I support that too. It's the it's the second movie that had number black motherfuckers in. Right. Okay. okay. Like Black Panther. Because on the first black one, they had all the black characters. Good, man. Now he said, I ain't, ain't trying to be you no know, shout out to your white folks. His movies y'all have with a lot of white number of white folks, but uh. This one of the main because the first coming to America at least had a couple of white folks in it. But they did make us look good though. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like good. yeah. This coming to America, okay, it's like uh, uh, what's the dude, the, uh, the, the the fat dude that was uh, with the McDowell's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't he in it. I know. Oh, okay. And uh, about one more other white person in it. Other than you ain't seeing nothing but black people. So everybody. And that's that. why I love this. You got a chance to see a bunch of black people acting the movie. That's. We'll probably get a great. Now, what's, the, what's important? What's important to you, particularly you, about seeing a bunch of black people in the movie? What is? What is? Why is it so? What does it stand out to you for? Because the fact that uh, most of the movies you see, you don't even see that many black people in the uh, in the extras. But you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to get. I, I, I know, you, uh, but you. Have, I mean, I got to yeah, ask okay, you a question. Right, okay, right. You, okay, got you. It's only why I can ask the okay. question you give me because you have it. You're trying to. There's no other way. That I'm th- that's the only way I'm thinking why I like the movie. Mm, okay. About that. There's, there's no other way. Because when you watch most movies, they got two main characters that are black. Sometimes it's a, another character. Well, what's but what's important they don't about having an all black crew? What's cause, important about cause, it? Because uh, it feels good. Yeah. It feels good. You got 10 leading, yeah. leading roles that are black. And it feels good. They're not co starring They're not extras. It's inspirational. They're it's not, inspiring. Yeah, you know? so, it feel good. I was gonna get yeah, the point I'm getting to. Yeah, I feel you, goddamn it. But yeah, it, it feel good. I mean, <laughs> slow motion moving too fast. <laughs> yeah, right there, you, you be slow motion moving. Same. That shit feel good. Just like you feel, good. feel good. good to see a brother doing what a brother is doing, regardless Man. of regardless of the fact that your soul is more important to me, particularly me. But because I am the same skin. Uh, no, which, dog is, which is technically, uh, you know, this is this is black. I want to be real? Yeah, this is black. No, we, yeah. gonna, we ain't gonna get into that. Baby. That's not whole other, want to, this a whole other level. All the smoke production. But we are, we we are, and I can relate to you just off how we look on appearance, right? Yeah. But now you got to go to soul level, and how we can relate on soul level. I fuck with you, bro. And, I, and, I, and yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, we recognize and, real man. They want to stay south. I mean, we folks with each other, like you said earlier. Uh, it, it, it's, it's good that you have somebody that you ain't, like we ain't hung out in 10, mm-hmm. two, since 2010. The last time you hung out with me. It wasn't 2010? 2009. No, it wasn't now. You, I, can, you can know. It was when, it was when, it was when we was at the, when I was, when I was sitting in the car, remember? Okay, before that though, the, 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 first, like, time, the first time, yeah. 
Like, first time. You talking about like real names? I just, like, right. yeah, because you got to understand. That was 2012 okay, and 13. Right. Right. I ain't seen you since I Damn, came. I ain't came home since I ain't came. I came home 2012. I haven't seen you in eight nine months. Damn. That's why I had made. That's why I was aggressive with going to that. She ain't seen well, me yet. Right, 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 right. So, so, right. uh, before then though, I stayed out there on Midway and Timberland. Right. Remember that apartment I had? Yeah. You came out there a couple of times. Yeah. I lived. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I think I was working on my album then. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I would my album then. Damn, it's been ten years. Plus, it's been since two thousand. I moved over there in two thousand eight, so it's about two thousand nine. But we picked up like it was yesterday. Two thousand nine, two thousand. That's, that's, that's what I'm getting to. Right. The thing about it, it, we, it's like you, that's who you know you who you fuck with, who fucks with you, because yeah. we might ain't hang around each other five, ten years ago, but we all see each other like the water never leaked. Like your brother or your sister. And the and reason being because it's not a physical connection. It's not a because of what, what, what we getting physically. It's because of a soul connection. And you got That's some out of sight. You got some motherfuckers that like even on for social media. The out of sight, out of mind thing. Mm -hmm. that it's like, like they'll see you on Facebook or on Instagram or whatever. But since because they're not hanging around you no yeah. more. And they say something about it. And it hurts their feelings. Or, or, or in your area. They don't, t they don't, they don't intervene with you. And some, people, and, some people, and some people, and some people, man, hanging around like, each other though they intervene with everything you did. But it's like, but it's like, see the thing, what I'm saying, it could be 20 years mm -hmm, I ain't seen mm -hmm, you, right? And you stay way in, 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 in Anchorage, Alaska. Mm -hmm. I'm still gonna be intervening with you do uh, via right comments right, or right, right, something, message something, or whatever. Right, not just cause we, cause right. I see you, right? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm not gonna see you on there. It ain't seen you in ten years and keep showing. But you know, I like to see people who ain't right, seen in a long right, time. Right, right, and then, and then right or now from you gotta take. Some people think the internet is a negative. Oh, it's, 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 I it's, don't. But I see you gotta turn everything and balance out everything. I make the most out of it. I make the most out of it. So that's why fun. Did, you know, I, I, I love that shit. And it's man. a way to communicate without having a fuck in your face. It's like it's like going to school every day for me. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love that. That shit, people. I, I'm, not, I'm not that person. Like, it's okay, evident. I'm not, it's evident he loves it. Hey, you know? hey, I'm not. I'm not supposed to be one of them people to deactivate my page. And that was me. That was still, me. I'm the fuck deactivate that was my me. shit. That I'm just not gonna post the comment. I don't want to deactivate me. my page just to not get on Facebook. Just don't get on. It's that. like my ass do when I'm sitting in the car. All the time. Say. That's what I'm doing when I'm deactivating. But I quit doing it years ago because I realized that I don't have to fit into the regular. Energy of everybody else. Be you. That's what we all. That's what we all here for. To be authentically you. Express yourself. I'm express myself. And if somebody expressing themselves in a way that makes me feel uncomfortable, then that's something I need to look at me for myself. And that's, that's, that's where it goes back to me. Like I, I do have a lady that's on the, my Facebook friends list. Mm -hmm. I gotta, I gotta be mindful of her. Right. Um, if I, if I, I might, I can't, I can't go off on women like I used to. <laughs> right. And then she right there. It doesn't look right. 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 You know, or, or do whatever. Now some stuff that I say is 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 so bad that she agree with me. Hmm. But like, and I think that was a time where Cuddy wouldn't have gave a fuck about that. I know she know that. <laughs> She was, we wasn't, she used to watch me. She used to sometimes, she be, and she be on the grids with me then. I just had to acknowledge that. You know that? Yeah. One time then, she was like, I, I feel you. She, that's how we kind of like got to talking to each other, going right. off each other, putting comments. That's how you and really, Facebook posts. That's how you receive by giving. And it, it, with this shit right here with this, I mean, like me, it, this is not scripted, man. Right. I'm never, I, I'm never in character, man. My girl will tell you this. I'm like this all fucking day. And I'll tell you that. Yes, no. I'm like, I'm like this all day, every day. Mm -hmm. I'm not just like this on Facebook. I'm not like Too this. Too much energy. I'm like this all. I'm from seven thirty in the morning to whatever time I feel like I want to go to sleep tonight. Period. I'm like this, and there ain't no act. It's just. And you attract the same type of people. Exactly. Yeah. Period. So that's and, what, that's and, it. and everybody. Say that. less. <laughs> you, you either gonna love me or hate me, but if you hate me, you gonna end up loving me anyway. So it don't even matter. Period. Cut <laughs> hey, the case. That's just facts. Keep that podcast, so y'all won't be asking shots. Universal law. Toast, though. Oh baby. Hell yeah, one man. Love, one love. 2021, this thing, man. They open everything back up now. Hmm. What you think about that? Low key, it seems like everything been open anyway. <laughs> hey, hey, give me a motherfucking death. It's not that I hear Addison. Didn't you Addison, say that? You said that? Addison, North Dallas and Addison. Oh. It, Addison didn't ever. Last year, around, well, last year around this time, everybody was just occurred and everybody got stuck in. Well. But around by May or June, man, this side of town right here, man, was going hard, man. They had to close down. Shit was getting closed down every other month. But, but you gotta, you know, you gotta. Uh, they gotta have a. Uh, 
Who was just happy the gallery of mall opened up? Who was happy? Then shit stopped. Everybody was doing their thing still. Everybody living their life. Just, you gotta move different. Because you got snitches and shit out here talking about people still hanging out. You know, when. when yeah, they were doing when, that shit when, back then. Right? When, if, that was, if it was that serious, if we was having a pandemic that serious to me, that should mean we should spend more time together. And I feel like this. I live in Addison. I don't, gotta hang, I don't gotta hang out because everything is already hanged out. Mm-hmm. You don't got no choice but the. You tempted to go somewhere around here. You ride around a little bit more. But well, maybe, but maybe at the same time. Ride them down. You know about Addison. On the other side of that, on the other side of that, uh, the Corona shit or whatever, uh, COVID, co- COVID shit. Yeah, same thing. Slow motion in this motherfucker. <laughs> Shout out to slow motion. Hey, slow motion in this motherfucker. Shout out to motherfucker. Slow motion. Say, uh, um, that podcast. At the same time, while this COVID thing going down, you also see how God is moving, where He giving you an opportunity to sit the fuck down and be the fuck still, and y'all said fuck. That's what that can happen too. It's two sides to it. And, they, and it could have had nothing to do with God if you want to look at it like that. For people, people that don't believe in God. All I'm saying is maybe it's time for you to sit down and just enjoy you. You know, I don't know what I know what I had I had the COVID show good. I don't know what the fuck it got. I don't even know what's going on. And, and I don't think about it. So I mean, I just, I just, my life. It's like I never think about where it come from. I never think about who's behind it. I just don't do that. I'm just, not gonna some do stuff it. I just don't even let fuck with me. Yeah, and that's the point I'm trying to make. See, as long as when I first heard about this shit, I was like, you know what I need to do? My cloak, my cloak. Have a happy new do. fucking moment, every fucking new moment. Just live my life and be happy, man. I'm not going to be nothing. Nothing, nothing take my shit. Like, when inco- like income tax season or stimulus checks type of stuff, that'd be the last thing in my motherfucking mm-hmm. mind. It's like, I don't know why though. Right. It'd be, it's cool, but like, I don't know why I don't think about that. That's how your like I'm like, like, like somebody asked, like, I, 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 like, my boy, my boy, shout out to my boy Hug. He, he, he juiced me with everything mm-hmm. and stuff like this. Right. Say, man, you know you can get this right here, man. Do, 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 do. I like that. Yeah, man, okay. All right. And it's out of my mind like that. And, 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 like, I, I'm knowledgeable about it. Right. I just don't speak about it. It right. doesn't amuse me because. Because yes, yes. I, I don't want to be excited and don't get, <laughs> 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 you don't get it either, though. I, you know why? Because I had it happen when Obama gave the first thing. Mm-hmm. And I said, wait a man. And I was, we were staying out there on Plano Road in Forest Green. And, and never got it. I said, I had yeah, plans. Right, right. And I didn't right. get it. And I said, fuck Obama. And I said, I'm fucking stimulus and all right, that shit, man. Right. I don't give a fuck about no stimulus. Like but, some, but, see, but you didn't get the stimulus, but something else ended up working out better. I'm going to get the stimulus. Long, you know what? Me just breathing every day, man. That's period. a stimulus. Period, bro. Hey. Me breathing every day. That's right. my motherfucking stimulus. Uh. Seeing my kids, seeing that my lady, mean, eating food every day, eating ribeyes. That's facts. Right? All that shit like that. <laughs> That's my, that's that's, my and, stimulus. And, right and there, it's man. not just some shit that sounds that's good. This is my stimulus right here. That's real. Entertaining y'all on YouTube or whatever the case may be. That's real. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the likes. Watch the lights go up. Yeah, that's what, see, that's my whole thing. Yeah, you gotta give love, show how to give love. And, and like, I don't, so some stuff just be numb to me. Maybe it's another bill over there? They also, uh. It's another bill over there. It's energy not, love being in this world. No, I forgot about that. Energy love. No you, you know what? It's, it's, it's cool if I hop, hop over there. Yeah, like, I don't want to get my own. I don't want to get my own. I don't know. Yeah, go ahead. It's cool. Yeah, go ahead. I don't know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Get my own beer. I don't want you to get my own beer. It's not no more beer now? I ain't no, I ain't that type. Not those sankies. I just want to say about those. I mean, well, is it another Modelo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, baby, get your beer back. Uh, I know it's one Modelo left. Damn. It's just, it's the, you got the last one? Yeah, it's the last one, man. We're going to have that one. All right, fuck it, dang. You can have it. All right. Damn, baby, you sure? I'm positive. No, yeah, yeah. Yes, I am. Damn, All right, Slim Chicken. Shit. Thick pigeons. Say, so, will it fuck it up if you take a, uh, if you hit pause and then we go get some over here and come back? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Shit. Nah, we're going to keep it flowing like you I was asking my dad. I used to have runners and shit, man, and so I mean, they yeah. go, not just runners, but somebody with it. Right. Uh, you know, but no, and now we good though. Maybe that's all I need so I can drive home safely. Righteous. You know what I'm saying? Righteous. Right. What the safe. time look like? Practice safe uh, drinking, you know, whatever it's called. You have 17 minutes left. Like, right. To make it an hour. You've been okay. 43 oh, wow. minutes. Okay. Damn, 43 minutes? It, it felt like it had been 10 minutes. Right. Well, you know, sometimes you keep that be going, you know. When the conversation good, mm-hmm. your time run fast anyway. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you never you never know these podcasts because lately in my in, 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 in previous uh, episodes, I, I I felt like an hour was enough for me, and I had said so much shit, and I'm like, and I in the show end, and, and and I'm like, damn, I wish I would have said that. And, and I forgot to say this, but and, and, but it was perfect though. Even if you think good. it was perfect, you know why? Because your divine essence exp- expressing divine essence and your divine expression. 
But they was, was though. Like it was perfect. questions that like, especially with somebody who I knew, I, like one person I, I knew it's hard to reach him, and I want to interview him again, like, and I forgot mm-hmm. to ask him that question, and I still want to ask him. And I'd be like, fuck, I should have did that. But well, you know how you make a person it. feel though. Uh, whether they are popular, known, unknown, it don't matter. But most people are underground or not um, like yourself. Not in a place where you feel like, damn, of all the motherfuckers that made it, really, type shit. Mm-hmm. But more than that, what you're doing, like for specifically for me, which I'm going to speak for those that might not want to speak on it in these words, is I feel special. And everybody want to feel special. Yeah. I'm just saying. You don't, and if, you, I, if I quit hiding. If you don't, you a bullshit ass bozo lot. Now, see, I ain't gonna sit here and act like I act all hard and shit. Everybody, everybody, this culture now is hard, being hard, emotionalist. No, bust that shit open, express your emotion. Nigga, I feel special. And with I know, that, I ain't gonna you lie, know what that is? That's, that's creating energy that's gonna mm-hmm. grow something else. And everything is. I like to feel special too today. Speaking of that today, I was strolling down the timeline and uh, one of my fellow podcasters, man, take over TV, man, Jeff Pellum. It just came out the blue, cause he, cause he came out the blue when he um uh, he said, "Man, I'm so proud of Jay Davis." Which I'm cutting so Jay like Davis. Like I said, Jay too. Yeah. Uh, for for the consistency and, and the consistency of his podcast, man, he's gonna be a big player in his media game. Stay tuned, to this guy. Much love, brother. I didn't expect to hear that from him, but he, it felt good. I feel special. Well, I, I want to say one thing because for so many for every day people watch me. Present but it's what I want to say though. Them. It's one thing. He said you're going to be a great. You are a great podcaster. Appreciate you. That's the difference. Now that's the difference in how we got to learn, change how this, how we're going to change the world, how we're going to change See, our existence. I think, he's our, I, I think it, it coming from him though, knowing who he is. Right. It meant a lot because he's a uh, he's a big podcast. Right. We started off at the same time. Mm-hmm. He's been on my show a couple times. He's been on the English show. I've been on his show, mm-hmm. Takeover TV. Uh, but you already he was him. just saying I'm gonna be a big player, media player with the big boys. Right, I feel you are. Mm-hmm. Yes. When I get, he said once I get once the, once Speak. I get in that league with them around any of them motherfuckers. Speak on it. My, I mean, any of the any of my actors, Speak on comedians, let so wasn't right. It's gonna they they gonna be something to reckon with. Be, uh, no, I'm not on. not trying to be, but, that, but just just my just my personality. It's your spirit. Your soul. Yeah, right there. I'm just being real. I gotta always go back to the facts. Righteous. Right. Spirit was hurt before the physical world. Your Man, spirit, right? Jacob, but you know what? There's some people with no good, with, with that spirit not balanced out, don't feel good, it still make it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because even the ones that don't have that shit lined up right, or their spirit not uh, looking so cool or looking so good, they make it. So you don't make it just because you got a good spirit, but the way you gonna make it. And the difference you're gonna make when you make it. Success for, success to me with this man is accomplishing all the goals I said I wanted to do. I'm proud and of I you. I think too. I'm eighty percent into my attributes on the shit. I'm proud of so, you too. I, I think a lot of us. Every day that I said I know I'm proud of you. Thank you, baby. I appreciate you too. Everything I, I, I was on the Ian Gleason show, I already saying what I was gonna do when you I You continue to inspire me as a fan in general. And once a fan, somebody cool y'all. Hold on now. Oh, damn. <laughs> and he inspired me to want to bring out more ideas and take initiative into wanting to do like something within myself or have my own business. Teamwork makes the dream work. Mm-hmm. What I like about her, she has good ideas. She, 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 because she, she, she always, she, 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 this is what I like about her. She, because she watched most of my podcast episodes even before we got together. Oh, okay. And so she was able to uh, see what I did a lot. And what I probably didn't do that much of, or what I don't do at all. Okay. Instead of her being one of the ones that say, "Say, man, I need to do this right here to my show. And I need to do that," but they never watch the episode before. Right, right, right. <laughs> Understand what right. I need to do. Right. Why you asking? Why you tell me what I would need to do? You never seen an episode. Because she's studying. Like I don't like you. You acting like I never did it. You act like you wonder why I'm so passionate or heated about for my, with, my, with my response because. You ain't watched the episode, or you might watch two episodes, but would you tell me what I need to start doing? I did it already. And, and, and what are they doing? Nothing. They, they ain't bringing nothing to the table. They just tell me to do something I'm already table. doing. What she does, what she does, she adds stuff to what I already do. Right. She don't try to act like I ain't doing it already. She right. already know what I'm doing. She, matter of fact, now she's a part of the podcast because she watched most of them in, right. in live. Right. So that's so a beautiful. It's a beautiful I, thing. I like the fact that she's able to. Uh, she she come up with ideas for me, and she also it w- it makes me feel special. Let's go back to feel special. Feel special. Yeah. When she asked me for advice about which about her movement or whatever she wanted right. to do. Man, I'm happy for y'all, because man. I'm happy for She, up, she believes that I'm a couple. She believes she has enough belief in me to see or know that I will uh, come up with something legit. 
That's what it's all about. Connections with people on every level, whether it's sexual, romantic, emotional, spiritual, that's at peace. And that's building from each other, growing from each other, learning from each other, not just, you know, and that's a beautiful thing because that thing is going to create something and manifest something in the physical that you guys are going to be able to see. And like enjoy. at first, the energy I, I felt from him uh -huh. was like he was kind of pulling from me a right, little bit right. because he's always been like this very independent, strong minded head, just like strong you, person. Like you. And we're just alike. So right. I had to take a step back and respect that. Right. But onto my core, I noticed he's really gotten better with listening to like, a little bit of criticism mm -hmm. because Jay know his shit and he will correct you and he will put you in your place about his right. shit because right. there were certain things that I was coming out telling him and making suggestions of that I didn't even know that he had already been looking into mm -hmm. and you know the first couple of months we were talking so maybe I was he like, forgot no he, I, I was like, he knows what he's doing yeah the only thing I saw that he wasn't doing was being consistent and mm -hmm. he is so that, that's but that's, hey, that, that's, that's, that's the time I was, don't that, that was, sound like me as a fan you years ago I was like don't come out with you gotta, I get you I get you two seasons straight and consistent no, no, listen, she's she not, she not, not, I see it as a point of not, not criticizing, but she's right. No, she's observing. right. No, she's right. There was a time that I was getting, what I'm saying, season one and season two. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's 27 episodes each season. Congratulations. I took, a, I, I took a break. When season one ended, I took a three-month break and started season two. Okay. Probably about a four-month break and started season two. Mm -hmm. So I, I stayed consistent, consistent for two seasons. Mm -hmm. I started season three. And went like three episodes in and stopped doing. Okay. That was she talking about. That. She right. she seen I see, mm -hmm. and so I was giving you videos and stuff on YouTube. Right. That was a podcast. Right. So when we. Uh, when so we, she was just being that strength in you when you wasn't really on that shit. Yeah, she told us I was. Like, she knew. She knew. Uh, then I started back. I started back doing episodes for season three, which is this season. Cause her soul feel the importance of what you're doing. This is season three right now, but we're not gonna do just. We're gonna do more than so this season episodes. three. We're gonna do, and we're gonna do. We're not gonna stop an episode. Of course, we're well, gonna keep it going. Infinite no stop signs, no red lights. We infinite beings in this motherfucker. So she, she, she know. Uh, she, she know. Uh, Sorry about that. Nia's outside. I just. She said she went gonna be able to duck down because she been shopping. So she's gonna wait outside until right. you. Right. Okay. Cool. Shout out to her daughter Aaliyah. But where I was going though, like she uh she 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 realized there was a, she realized there was a change a time with uh I was doing it. Like I could, like last year around this time I started back doing it and I did like three episodes and I quit. Mm -hmm. And that's what she said, mm -hmm. I stopped being a sister. But in the well, last, I'm so glad you did, because I finally got on this mother. Well the last the last the last two months though, I've been active. Yeah. What you been doing? Doing it, I've been I'm active. Saying, when you weren't doing this, what you was doing though? Just doing, I was keeping my page relevant still, but I was doing, I was kind of... But what was you doing for yourself, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, whatever? What was you doing she, you know what? Just resting? No, you what? know, I was going through, that's what you I said, life? I was going through, I was going through my little bubble a little bit, you know, with some other stuff and stuff yeah. in my life that's a little bit more deeper. But, like, I was doing other stuff, though, to, like, the, the, the mask, all the other shit, like, for running the streets a lot more, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I was been like... Oh, whatever you've been that. doing, whatever you're doing, let's say you was fooling me. Let's say you could look good. You, right now, whatever you're doing, it feels good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you can, cause see, I'm a, I know this because I can, I can fool a lot of people. They never know how I'm feeling so low inside, or so fucked up, or scrambled, or so whatever. Woo -woo. And I can put on this, you know, present this, but it'd be certain people that stand out and say to pull me to the side and say, Isha, I see you. Everybody else fall for that shit, but now nah, something ain't right. I'm like, damn, y'all didn't talk to you. You know, you know what I'm saying? But you feel good. No, I ain't gonna lie though. When I stopped doing my podcast, when I started back doing season three, mm -hmm. I, when I stopped, I started being more active. You know, it was just pandemic era. You know, and, and when they opened back the streets a little bit, I had to get out single. But I, but I told myself, mm -hmm. uh, this is the year of me finding another woman. I had to, I had to joke about it though, but I, up, I was, hold up. but I was serious about it though. But I was joking though. So, cause I I've been I've been single for three four months, three years. But what you say again? Uh, you say what? This is time for you to do what? This is the year just for the five men, another woman. And what kind of another woman? I, I, I never, you know specifically I, what you want. I mean, like, go, now, hold up. I don't want to paraphrase. All right. Let me just let me just just, just give you my whole scripture. Okay. How I went into let this. Let me just shut up. Listen. I stop when I stop. I say, you know what? It's I've been single for a long time, and I played enough. I'm gonna see how this year go. In the summertime, I was meeting a lot of people, but you know, I always had a connection with my lady, though. Okay. My lady is now, but we okay. were together. We still had a connection, mm -hmm. but 
it took for a lot of them, it took, it took for me to see a lot of mess to know what's best. Okay. You see? Yeah. And that's what kind of it came right. down to. And then, I mean, it's like, and I it's, 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 you don't find too many people that you got to like, the energy go like that with each other. Because no, no you don't want to get anybody else to get that energy or vice versa. So it was, we took a shot, I guess. We gave it a try. I mean, I, we, we hit the, the feelings was mutual. I didn't know it was that mutual. I knew I was, I was really liking him. I mean, because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm happy for y'all, man. Because she told me that though. I ain't gonna lie, she did tell me. Uh, she, she told me that she loved, uh, that she liked me, and but what'd you like about him? Mm, he was very honest. I think everybody needs to feel special. What, what he's on your hand. I don't think he even really made me feel special. You know I'm saying? He want to feel special. He need to feel special without knowing, <laughs> without knowing it. What was it about him that, that you liked? Oh, he geez. just stood out. He wasn't like that typical right. or, or, or ordinary type of brother that I'm used to. He was, right. But he's very different. What stood out about him? Because we're going to interview the interviewer real fast. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? This is what I do. This is slow mode do, baby. <laughs> This is what I do without even trying to do nothing. Shout out to Slow Mo, man. My motherfucker right here. You know what I'm saying? You keep love, you gotta come hey, back. He's coming back. Hey, I love it. I love it all. He is, though. He do stand out. Appreciate you. Well, he do. <laughs> he has this aura that I like right. about him. Because at first, I didn't find him attractive at all. I didn't see it. You right. know, but it was it was more like what we were talking mm -hmm. about in here. And right. that's why I was able to connect with you mm -hmm. with what you were saying. It was his aura, it was his energy. Because mm -hmm. if you was born blind, you would still feel it, huh? Mm -hmm. she right. Said, she said, type, she said, type, she said if, if he was fat, I would type shit. Him. She said, she said, I'm if he gained three, if he, if he was 250, 300 pounds. And he had that same personality. Now, see, that, you know what? What you she just said, she said, she said I'm an ugly motherfucker. What you just said <laughs> is the, the same response that I try to get people to understand when they say Isha, slow mo. How you get women to, you know, why you always, you always got the women and this and that? It's the energy. It's the nigga. Energy. It has nothing to do the with dick or pussy. It has nothing to do with black or white. It has nothing to do with swag or not, nigga. It's your energy. And you know what? I, at first, I, I took a step back and was like, no, nah, maybe not. I shouldn't talk to him because his personality is so, it's his energy. Let's say it like that. Mm -hmm. It's so, it's so much like mine. And it's healing. It's strong. It's healing too. Dominant. Right? Healing. And I was like, my, my ex was like that. But... It was different. It was like it was some magnetic. It was just something that made me just always want to go to him. And then when he was talking to other females, I was like, oh, okay, you know, he's a little player. I see he got his thing going on or whatever. But then when I actually talked to him on a real nice level or real personal level, I come to find out he's really not a player. If that makes sense. He's just playing the game. He was playing a game, but at the same I mean, time, playing he was game. making the women that he was talking to feel special. Right, right. And, that, and you're right. that's, a, that's the type of quality that's rare. Somebody, you know. So let's just say mm -hmm. if I didn't even have a, a relationship with him. He's I, respectable. Oh, if he would approach me and I would have okay, approached him special. and if we would have had like chemistry or whatever, I wouldn't have mind had a one night stand with him. Let's, let's just right. say it like that right. if it wasn't even right. that serious. Right. Because it was his yeah. energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what was it about her that caught your attention? Everything. You know what? The way she made you feel? You know what? Yeah, I'm the know biggest what? girl he's ever been with. What does it have to do with anything? No, that just let me she say that. She's not even big. Okay. She ain't even big. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm saying other than that, other than that, what else? She's not even big. She's mm -hmm. not, she's not at all. But she other than that, what else? She look at the other girl, man. She, she, she look at the other girl. Just Honestly, yes. All right, now, so I let's do. say you lose weight and you're not a big girl no she more. She got mind. a flat stomach. She's not even fat. Right? He loves you because of how you make him feel too. No. He did say like my you just spirit. Said, like he you did just say said, you just said it. He was, so, uh, he was 250 at, something hey, pounds. Tell us same thing with you. Hey, look, look at her stomach. She go, man. But I'm look, look, look at her stomach. She, she ain't got no stomach. She don't got. She don't got no stomach. But if she I did, have, a but let's say you did have a stomach. Let's Fupa. say you did. What does it have to do? How can that touch your spirit though? That can't touch your spirit. They can't. They can't fool with how your spirit, the way you love, the way you acknowledge, the way you nurture. Is because whether you was born with one eye missing, a fupa, half a booty hole, half a, a one foot, let, missing a toe, how do you feel? And that's what make a person love you. So when you realize that, learn to love yourself for that. And then it's feel no hold up, love you yourself know. for that. So even if you never well, met him, like by the way, we don't want to go too far. Yeah, this. yeah. About yeah, me, yeah, yeah, here, we go, here, we oh, here we go. I don't want to do the interview. We got one minute. So, all right, so so all right. Yeah. Alright y'all, enough about, about, about me y'all, oh, I'm the guy that asked yes, the question, yes, sir. Yes, sir. but it was good to hear how she felt about me and I love all the praises, that shit feels but uh, good. since we always at the end of the video, or the end of the, uh, even though it's, 
I got like an hour and 15 minutes to do a show, but yeah. when, we, when we start talking about the hosting question, I'm about host, to come back. That means we got out the content. There's no content. <laughs> All right, so we're going to end this That's how it go when you fucking But I shout, shout out to my lady, though. She, she loves me to death. She know I'm handsome and all that shit, you know. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, you know, fly guy. What are you talking about? Yeah, but, but yeah, at the end of the show, you know, you asked about the Square Bitch Award. You asked about the Square Bitch shirt. Yeah, Scram Bitch. Scram Bitch. Yeah, Scram Bitch. That's what you're fucking Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, so at the end of each show, each episode, we do the Scram Bitch Award. And if you ever got to the end of an episode, you ever watched the show to the end. You would know that we do the Scram Bitch Award, right. and the Scram Bitch Award is that you just want to, you want to, whatever's affecting you in your life, it can be headache, stomach ache, an organization, a job, a football team, a basketball team, a person, uh-huh. anything, a uh, situation, you want to say, Scram, get away from me, right. get out of my right. life, right. bye, right. adios, right. So it was scram, man. Okay, all right. Scram. So you can name more than one. You can do whatever. Because I know we got less than a minute. Probably less, less, less. Well, we all um, good. Talk, though. You can do your thing. My scram, be will be all negativity, all fear, all confusion, all self love, uh, lack of self love, all um, uh, uh, ununity. We need you to unify. Right. Okay? Uh, and the last and not least, and most important to me, I'm going to cut it short with this one because I can go on for a whole two more hours. With that topic, I know. is scram be us not for us forgetting who we are. And I'm talking right, about yes. Baby, you got your scram? Nah, I mean. You know what it does? Nobody have a love. Think of audience and everybody got to have a scram. She, she's the only one that attended the show, which is cool. God is everything uh, everything is God, baby. Would you, would you have a scram? You don't have to have one. If you got to think about it, you don't have one. Yeah, I really don't scram, have one. Scram, poofa. Uh, scram really all the ones. <laughs> scram all the haters, all the negativity. Hey. All the ones that I always try to be busters mm-hmm. and make nasty comments on my baby's show. And it's got him on Facebook going live, going at it. Scram, be scram bitches. Okay. Oh man, shit, you said it, y'all. Damn. Y'all got y'all shit. And me, I don't I don't shit. I don't have a personal scram for, for nothing because like I said, I've been happy and I've been doing my thing. And uh, I guess when you really active and you doing your thing. You don't really pay attention to the little stuff right, that, right. that affect you to say scram to. Everything is numb to you, let me say that. So I don't have a personal scram. Or but I do have my the general scram that I do that's gonna always be the scram to your motherfucking motherfucking uh niggas that be out there hating like she said. Scram to people who be talking about support black businesses, but you don't support black businesses. Scram. You don't support your friends and you don't yeah. support them either. Scram, bitch. Uh, I don't even support so also, them, seriously. Also, scram. Pray for them. Nigga. Scram to the That's scram. Right. Scram to the. Uh, uh, but they gonna scram first. I, I normally I don't normally say scram to the dudes on this. Scram to the niggas. But now scram to the people that speak about other people around other people to make themselves feel better. Than scram, them. bitch. Scram the most definitely. I hate that when <laughs> you want to come and say it about somebody else. Real Let's just say, for example, a guy around a female and he's bringing up the other nigga more than she is. Stop trying to down talk a nigga around a female to make yourself feel crown a better. Say, I got a song called. And he probably wearing that dude pants. I got a song with Nature King. Is it Nature King? Uh, yeah, Nature King called. Um, Shout out to Nature King in the song. Keep me balanced. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, keep me balanced. And it's talking about that. If you ain't talking knowledge, I don't want to hear it. You ain't high vibe being, you can disappear. My energy is important. I got to keep me balanced. That shit. Ah, that's what yeah. we talking about right now. You got to get a freestyle one That's day. low key what we talking about. Low key like if scram, bitch. So yeah. scram to all that type of stuff right there, uh, uh, and just scram to COVID nineteen. Oh, yeah. right there. Say scram. We're gonna say that this bring two thousand twenty one in about to be a uh, a smooth spring, a hot summer, cold winter. We are gonna eat you up like that. On the count of three, we gonna say scram, bitch. All right. One, two, three. Scram, scram bitch. In other words, go fuck yourself. I'm not like a fat kid in dodgeball. Holla at y'all. One love, y'all. One love. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, shit. Goddamn, we finally did it, goddamn it. Oh shit. shit.